All right, guys, it is our turn in Axis and Allies 1942 online. We are playing as Germany. Probably one of the most fun factions to play, I would say. Germany and Japan, both of the Axis powers are very fun. They're fun for different reasons. If you like land wars, you'll love Germany. If you love naval combat, you'll love Japan. All right, let's hop on into it. It's our turn. So we have 41 IPCs to spend. I have already done the math on this. I've done all the thinking, contemplating, and in the end I decided that I need bodies. Um, almost as much as I need planes. I like to buy at least two planes per turn. So we're going to buy two fighters and we're going to buy seven infantry. <coughs> and that will be our purchase. So in terms of combat, eh, he's got a destroyer here and a cruiser here. <clears throat> We're not particularly interested in any of that. I want to focus down this battleship and transport, though. So we will send our subs here to sink that. And if all goes well, we'll have a stack of four subs in the C zone. We'll send this fighter to support. Now, I've gone through and I've done the math, and I need to have at least three fighter planes in Ukraine. <clears throat> I need to have three fighter planes in Ukraine to keep it defended if I move all of the available units into Ukraine that can go. The Soviet Union retook West Russia, and he is starting to mass here, and I need to build a mass that counters, that matches him. However, I would also like to prevent this Japanese fleet from being destroyed by these combined navies from India and Australia here. That's always, whenever I play as the UK, that's my go-to. I'm always like, okay we got to kill that right there, because if we don't, we'll regret it later. So, we can actually mess with his plans here by destroying his fighter, potentially, in Egypt. So, in order to do that, I'll have to load a tank and an infantry onto this transport ship. We'll have to move this battleship in to destroy the destroyer, land here, and attack that. We will have to have the support of our bomber, though, to attack this territory. Okay, now our bomber would have to land in Libya after the combat, so we can put these these two units there, but I don't want anybody getting lucky. So I'd like to move a fighter down there if possible. We have one, two, three, four fighters left. So three of them, these, let's say these three, will be in Ukraine and will fly this one down. One, two, three, four. So those are all the fighters that we can fight with for now. Otherwise, I think that we're basically just going to capture... We're going to send... Uh, let's send one infantry from Finland over here. And then we'll send an infantry from the Baltic states. And we have this transport for now, so let's use it. We'll load a tank on, we'll load an infantry from Germany, and we will offload it in the Baltic states. And that's essentially what we can, or into Karelia, and that's essentially what we could do. We could blitz these tanks through, but we need them in Ukraine to defend Ukraine. Because we've cut, we've crunched the numbers, so this is going to have to work here. So I don't care so much about this. Although, he could probably counterattack pretty successfully up here. So, we should be careful in that case. Maybe we don't want to send our tank. Just realize that. Hold on. Alright. So, I think we will send... We will send um, two infantry and, and a fighter to attack that. So, this guy who's right here in Finland, who's going along, we'll cancel that. And this fighter, we will have joined the fight up here. These remaining fighters will congregate here. And this transport ship, what's what we got going into Finland right now? Or Karelia. Let's cancel that battle, and we'll just redo it. Alright, there we go. So, let's load these two guys up here. Unload there. 
this fighter will support and that that should be good actually for now and the rest of it will be non combat so this is our big main combat here if we can knock out this fighter we can save this Japanese fleet right here so we'll see if we can we can make that dream become a reality I don't see any other attacks that we want to do you know, depending on our losses here, we might we might move into Karelia, but we need a lot of these units here. So. Strong, strong, and implausible. What? But I calculated this. I calculated this. It should be fine. Unless, unless there's some shenanigans behind the scene. Alright, let's we go to our next phase. So, Battleship gets a hit, finishes off the Destroyer. And now the Amphibious Assault can commence. Alright, this is an important battle. This is the most important battle. Remember, we don't have to take the territory, we just have to kill the fighter. Alright, two hits. Not too bad. All right, two hits, not too bad. Um, we need to press on. Okay, we got his tank. We got our tanks. Let's press on. Okay, we got him. He's probably going to get us. No, he did not get us. All right, nice. So we destroyed that fighter. Implausible. Whatever. Oh, nice. The infantry did it. He gets an infantry. We have one left over, so it is fine. You take the territory. <laughs> All right, four subs and a fighter against a battleship. Let's see what we can do. Surprise strike. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wait a second. We got two surprise strikes. What happened with that? Whatever. We won anyway. No casualties. Good for us. Okay, non-combat move time. So we need to move this fighter here, move that fighter there, this fighter here. We can actually move this fighter from Germany. We have to land him here. Move that there, move that there. Move this this way. Try to goad him into attacking. Um, yeah, because this is going to already land down here. So we could actually move this fighter from Germany into Africa. That would drive him bonkers. Move that there. Move that there. So we'll have three infantry in the United Kingdom. Move this to here. This tank. To super fortify Ukraine now. him there. These two here. We are not going to move the cruiser. We're probably going to lose the cruiser anyway. Um, do we move these infantry from Karelia? I think we, or from Finland, I think we leave them there. 
And actually, I think that we move these guys from Norway into Finland to allow us to counterattack in Karelia later if he retakes it. We'll leave this anti-air gun there. We may actually consider moving this anti-air gun up. Poland. I think we're pretty much moving everything we got. I don't think we need another fighter over here. I mean, do we really need that fighter down here? I don't think so. We'll have a bomber. I'm, I'm going to cancel this fighter. The only thing that could reach over here would be his bomber. His fighters could go one, two, three, so they can't reach. The bomber could go one, two, three, four, five, six, and in theory it could land there. But it would have to power its way through an infantry and an artillery first. And it's it's very risky. I think I'm gonna send that to Ukraine. If it's in Ukraine, it can go one, two, three. It cannot attack Egypt. It's in Ukraine. But I think we'll be all right. We'll have our bomber down there. Uh, this fighter. This fighter we will. It's just a tank. We'll send that to France. He could take Norway, but I, I don't think he will. If he does, we'll have five infantry in Finland and we'll take it back. Okay. That looks good. Let's make sure that we put... Oh, I know what we'll do. We'll put two infantry here and we'll put a fighter in Italy. Put the remaining fighters and infantry in Germany. All right, there we go. That's a turn. So he will probably take these two back, I would guess. And we'll have to be careful about this because we've only got ten infantry here for now. But we may be able to move some in by sea. We'll see. Five fighters in the Ukraine, so there's a lot there. Just built two more. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he would attack this territory with this bomber. No way. It's just too risky because then he'd have to land the bomber in Egypt, and then I could potentially load up more guys and offload them into Egypt and kill his bomber on the next turn. So I don't think it's going to happen. Although, he might attack the battleship and the transport with some of its stuff outside of India now that he can't hit this. He might attack this with a bomber and maybe a fighter. One, two, three, four. No, he could only move one fighter in. So you'd have a fighter, a cruiser, two cruisers potentially. But it would cost him a lot of time and resources and it would put... India at further risk. So we'll see what happens. See what he does. But he doesn't have a lot of good options. He has options, but they're not good options. So I'm excited to see how this shakes out. Still though, I, I'm outnumbered here in infantry by 50%. And that number might grow. Hopefully we're able to keep up with it all. Alright, thanks everybody for tuning in and hopefully we'll see you guys again soon.